The Undertaker, sucker! The Undertaker has announced... Well, no. He's been officially announced for the 2022 WWE Hall of Fame. I mean, it was it's only a matter of time for the dead man to put in, but... I guess since it's taxes, you know, we'll probably have some sort of fucking big star for taxes coming in, and, and this is obviously the Undertaker. I mean, we're going to have Austin at Mania, probably. Don't know if it's going to be a match, but it'll be interesting to see what Taker's involvement with Mania will be, but it says here that the ceremony will uh, take place on April 1st, 2022 at the American Airline Center in Dallas, Texas, following SmackDown. Uh, tickets for SmackDown and the Hall of Fame ceremony go on sale February 22nd. The ceremony will air on Peacock and the WWE Network. So yeah, here is the big statement. Guys, the Undertaker to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. It's announced today that the Undertaker will be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame at a ceremony on Friday, April 1st at the American uh, Airlines Center in Dallas as part of WrestleMania week. The event will stream live exclusively on Peacock, the US and WWE Network and everywhere else. See, I mean, no one don't really care about the Hall of Fame, right? But it'll be very interesting to see if Taker, like, does like his own speech or like who's going to induct them. Um, fuck, I don't know who could really induct Taker. Well, I mean, there's quite a few people who could do it, but I, I think I'll be tuning in for this because I mean, it's not often somebody at the level of the Undertaker gets put in. Um, it's basically just going on to mention here that you get SmackDown in the Hall of Fame two for one special, which is pretty good. I mean, because let's be real, SmackDown will be pish, but if you get the Undertaker Hall of Fame, it'll be worth it. Um, he's a pop culture icon. Damn right he is, says here, but he's made his WWE debut back in 1990. Uh, basically goes on to say about the phenom holding every major championship in WWE and has competed in some of the most memorable matches. And of course he has uh, over his illustrious 30 year career. His historic consecutive 21 year WrestleMania on the feet of streak that may never be broken. Um... Basically goes on top of documentaries. It sounds like I've got the fucking cold of the flu. It's just my sinuses, guys. They're pish. Um, so, fuck it. He's made some appearances called Netflix's Escape the Undertaker. That sounds pretty fun. Um, so, yeah. You've got Smackdown. So, WrestleMania is actually happening at the start of April. It always used to be March. I know it's uh, April, but yeah, of course it's over two nights. Um, and the tickets are actually currently on sale for WrestleMania, but as you see, there's WWE announcing it via uh, Twitter, guys. But anyway, leave your thoughts down below. It's about fucking time. Um, and it's good to see that there'll be fans there to announce it. But I don't know who's going to be inducting them, guys. But on that note, peace.